The objective of this job practice is to weld an open root butt joint in the vertical position with uphill travel and to pass a visual examination and guided bend test. Follow the general procedure steps. Use the proper protective clothing, tools, and eye protection. The materials and power source settings for this exercise are listed in your workbook. Position two plates on the table to form an open root butt joint. Use a 3 32nd inch spacer placed one half inch from the ends of the joint and make small tack wells between the wire and the edge of the plates while holding the plates firmly together. Remove the spacer and chip off the slag. Clamp the workpiece in the vertical position at about chest height. Start at the bottom, positioning the electrode 90 degrees from the workpiece, then 5 to 10 degrees downward. Hold a short arc length by pushing the electrode tip into the joint until you feel the coating touch the work. Weld upwards with a slight up and down motion. Move to the front edge of the keyhole and then back to the leading edge of the crater. Pause long enough to fill the joint and form the bead. For an open butt restart, always insert the electrode into the plates to maintain the keyhole before breaking the arc. If penetration is incomplete, decrease the travel speed or increase the current using the fine current control. If penetration becomes excessive, increase the travel speed and the length of the up and down motion or decrease the welding current with the fine current control. When the root bead is complete, thoroughly remove the slag and cool the workpiece in water. The root pass should fully penetrate to form a slight reinforcement on the root side of the joint. To deposit the cover pass, position the electrode at right angles to the workpiece and then downward five to 10 degrees. Use a Z weaving motion while traveling upwards. Use a rather fast movement, pausing slightly over the toes of the first weld long enough to fill the crater and undercuts. And take care not to hold the electrode completely stationary when pausing and do not enlarge the arc length beyond one electrode diameter. When the cover pass is complete, clean off the slag and call the instructor to inspect it. The standards of acceptability are, the weld shall be acceptable by visual inspection if it shows there are no cracks. There shall be no evidence of incomplete penetration at the root of the weld. There must be complete fusion between weld metal and base metal. There shall be no slag inclusions that exceed 1 8 inch in any 6 inches of weld. Porosity shall not exceed a maximum of 1 16th inch and there shall be no more than the combined total of 1 8 inch of porosity in any 1 square inch of weld. Undercut must not exceed 1 32nd inch in width or depth and there shall be no more than the combined total of two inches of undercut in any six inches of weld. For this weld, the root reinforcement shall be a minimum of flush with the base metal to a maximum of 1 16th inch. The face reinforcement shall be a minimum of flush with the base metal to a maximum of 1 8th inch. To perform the guided bend test, first saw or flame cut two pieces, each one and a half inches wide, from the center of the plate. Discard the remaining ends. Grind the weld on both sides of both pieces. 
flush with the surface of the base metal. Grind parallel to the length of the straps. Grinding across the weld will weaken them. In a guided bend fixture, bend one strap with the face side up and the other strap with the root side up. The pieces should bend completely, but not break. Examine the convex surface of the specimen. There shall be no cracks or other open discontinuities which exceed one eighth inch measured in any direction on the convex surface. Cracks that occur on the corners of the specimen during testing shall not be considered. Analyze the test results and check with your instructor.